Hi everyone, Flaming Footy here, and welcome or welcome back to a new video on the channel. And today, guys, I'm going to continue my AFL 2024 round reviews and round previews in today's video, reviewing round eight and previewing round nine. Starting off with the previous round review, round eight, and it was Adelaide that defeated Port Adelaide by 30 points in the Thursday night showdown. Friday night, Collingwood's Nick Dacos uh, ended up winning the game for the Pies, defeating their rivals Carlton by six points. First game Saturday saw the Sydney Swans defeat the Giants by 29 points in the Sydney Derby. And then in the twilight, St Kilda defeated North Melbourne by 38 points. Saturday night saw Geelong lose their first game of the year to the Melbourne Demons by 8 points. And in the West, another thrilling game with Essendon defeating the Eagles by just 6 points. Sunday's footy action started with Fremantle defeating Richmond by 54 points. Hawthorne causing the upset in the twilight by 7 points over the Western Bulldogs before Brisbane finished the round with a Q-Clash win against their rivals, the Gold Coast Suns, by 34 points. Here is the ladder as it stands with the Sydney Swans now on top of the ladder. If you want to go ahead and pause, you can, but this is the ladder at the moment and North Melbourne yet to win a game of footy. And the Coleman medal, Charlie Kerner is on top with 25 goals, followed by Jesse Hogan and Jake Waterman, both on 24. And now it's time for the Round 9 preview, and Round 9 starts off with a brilliant game on the Thursday night. This one is going to be Carlton versus Melbourne at the MCG. Both these two sides know how to play good games of footy against each other, as we saw last year, with the Blues winning the previous two games by four points later on in last year, and in last year's semi-final, of course, Blake Akers by two points in the end, the Blues. So they've got the history over the Melbourne over Melbourne in the past couple of games, but this one is going to be a good game. Melbourne defeated Geelong last week and are going to be feeling very good, and when you get into a defensive game against Melbourne, it's really hard to um to end up winning against them because their defence is so strong, and the Blues, well, they've, they've just been a little bit shaky the past couple of weeks. They're in eighth spot at the moment, uh, that lost to Geelong and then the loss to, to Collingwood, so two very good sides they have lost to, but still though, two losses uh, for them in the past couple of weeks, and Melbourne are sitting in the top four at the moment uh, with a couple of wins. Now, this is going to be a great game. It's just going to be down to who's better on the night because both these two sides on their night could win this game very, very well. But I do think Melbourne are going to win this game by three points. I just feel like they're the better two sides at the moment. Now, Carlton, we they'll probably have to respond at some stage, but I just don't think this will be their game. I just think Melbourne will get them to play their game. And I think they will be too strong. And if you can keep Mackay and Kono down for Carlton... It could be a decent win for Melbourne. Friday night footy is going to be at GMHBA Stadium, one of two games, and it's Geelong and Port Adelaide at GMHBA Stadium. And both these two sides lost their games last week, and they both lost them for the same reason. Inaccurate kicking in the end. Port Adelaide kicked five goals, 18, and Geelong, they did kick more behinds and goals uh, in the end. They kicked about nine goals, uh, 12 or something like that in the end. Uh, and they kicked themselves out of it in the last quarter. Jeremy Cameron didn't have his kicking boots on, and Tom Hawkins was pretty quiet. So they both, uh, both their key forwards didn't quite get the job done. So both these two sides are definitely going to be looking to bounce back from disappointing games last week uh, that they would have fancied themselves in. And uh, this is a really good, exciting, big game time to do it on the Friday night. It is such a huge game for these two sides to respond. Uh, it's under the Friday night lights. So there's definitely no hiding uh, and I think this will be a pretty decent game. I do think Geelong will win by 32 points in the end. I think it'll be close. I do think Geelong will skip away in the end, though, with the comfortable victory by 32 points. And the other Friday night game is going to be Fremantle and Sydney and Optus Stadium. This one is sure to be another exciting game. Of what is an exciting round of footy? Of course, Sydney Swans are top of the table at the moment uh, after their good win last week and a loss for Geelong. And Fremantle, well, they've, they've had a couple of interesting weeks, but their last two weeks have been really good, though. Um, defeating the Western Bulldogs and last week defeating Richmond. It wasn't anything special, but their scoring was really good. Uh, they ended up managing to score 103 uh, in the end. And yes, it is a depleted Richmond back line, but they still did score uh, pretty well. So I think this is going to be a really good game of footy, this one. Uh, the Swans, that their back line isn't the biggest uh, names in the competition. I'm not sure whether they'll have McCartan or not. Probably due to concussion, it'd probably be very unlikely. Uh, in fact, if he has concussion... Uh, he will not be featuring this one. I do think, I'm going to go and upset here, I think Fremantle will win this game by three points. I think they're going to find their scoring against the, what could be an undermanned Sydney backline in this game, and I think they will win by three points. I think it'll be a brilliant game in the midfield, uh, but I do just think that with Fremantle's defence as well, I do think they will win this game by three points in an upset. Now to Saturday afternoon footy. It's going to be Hawthorne taking on St Kilda at Utah Stadium. This is another huge game. It's 16th versus 14th, so it might not seem like a lot on the ladder, but both these two sides 
Uh, definitely need a win. Hawthorne after last week, they'd be looking for another one. And the Saints, who have been uh, who have been seen as a finals contender, haven't quite started the way off, uh, haven't quite started the year off uh, the way they would have liked to after starting uh, with some promise, but the last few weeks not quite playing their best footy. And last week definitely was not their best performance against North Melbourne either. And it can be their scoring as to what's been a bit of an issue. They can't always score high scores all the time. And their defence is what they pride themselves on. But if they do come up against a tall forward line, it can be challenging. Um, but I, I like this is going to be an interesting game because both sides, as I said, need the win. But more so St Kilda than Hawthorne. But Hawthorne are going to be full of confidence after their win uh, against the Western Bulldogs last week. And I think they're going to take that in this game. I think they're going to get the win by 13 points. They play Utah well. Uh, the Saints haven't played down there for a while. So I do think the Hawks will win this game by 13 points. And yeah, keep keep their upset keep their upset wins going. Saturday Twilight is going to be Essendon versus GWS at Marvel Stadium. Fifth versus third this one is. So another big top eight clash. In fact, to mention all top eight sides play each other this round. And all bottom ten sides play each other this round as well. But this is another one of those top eight matchups. Essendon versus GWS. And this is such a huge game for both these two sides, who both really do need to win. Essendon need to get a big scalp against an opponent. They need to get the four points against a big opponent to really show that they could be fine with footy worth this year. And well, the Giants, they've just had a couple of little issues the past couple of weeks. Uh, their win against Brisbane in round seven was good. Uh, they lost to Carlton, I believe, in round six. Uh, and then, of course, last round, the loss to the Swans. So it's been a shaky past couple of weeks. They definitely do need the win here. So this would be a pretty good game of footy, I reckon. Uh, of course, both these two sides have a bit of a rivalry going on. Uh, and the last time they met, it was definitely not a good result for Essendon. A brilliant one for the Giants, though. Uh, but I do think the Giants will win this game by 11 points. This is definitely a 50-50, though. Could definitely see Essendon winning. But I do think the Giants are the stronger side and should get the win here. So Saturday night footy is going to be at TIO Stadium. It's going to be Gold Coast taking on North Melbourne at TIO Stadium uh, in Darwin. Of course, this is the first game of their two-game stint in, Nord in the Northern Territory for the Gold Coast Suns, and they're going to be taking on North Melbourne as their first opponent. Now, their their record this year for the Gold Coast Suns is, is not great. They've uh, beaten a, a few lower-ranked sides at their home venue pretty convincingly. Uh, but then they've lost all their games away from home so far this year, which is not great. Of course, they do normally perform quite well at TIO Stadium, and their first opponent is North Melbourne. They should be able to get the four points. North Melbourne played all right last week against the Saints, but definitely hasn't quite been their year so far, and they, they haven't really played the greatest of footy. I don't think North will get the win here. I think Gold Coast will win this game pretty comfortably by 58 points. In the end, I think they're going to uh, get another good win uh, after last week's disappointment, I do think they're going to back it up well. Will the Gold Coast Suns and the other Saturday night game is going to be the MCG. Richmond take on the Western Bulldogs. Uh, and, well, the Tigers last week were not the greatest against the Dockers, uh, only scoring 49 for the game. But, of course, they've got so many injuries right now. It would definitely be disappointing for the Tigers. And for the Western Bulldogs, speaking of disappointing, they're just a win-loss, win-loss kind of team. They get a win, they get a loss the next week. They get a win, they get a loss. They cannot string consistent games of footy together. They can't win more than two or three games in a row, which is why they always just end up finishing in that like eight, eighth to twelfth region because they just don't win enough and they don't string enough consistent games together. And that's why they're in eleventh at the moment, just a mid-table record. Uh, but I do think the Western Bulldogs surely have to win this game. Last week was not great. Uh, if they lose this game, there will probably be some concerns. Uh, but I do think they'll get the win by 37 points. It is a depleted Richmond back line. They have to get the win. They've got big key forwards down there. Bonds and Pelly, as we know. I think they'll win by 37 points, but they de this is definitely a game the Dogs just have to win. Sunday footy starts off with Collingwood taking on West Coast at Marvel Stadium to begin Sunday's footy action. West Coast played really well against Essendon last week, but a couple of moments did cost them dearly in that game. And Collingwood, well, they are back to their best form, defeating Carlton by six points. It was a huge win for them and their season. They're sitting ninth at the moment, and they are most definitely coming for the top eight. Marvel Stadium is not their home venue. It is their second venue, and they're going to be taking on West Coast. I don't think they're going to get the biggest of wins, but they are a good side. I do think they're going to beat West Coast by 41 points in the end. And to end off, round number nine is going to be Adelaide taking on Brisbane at the Adelaide Oval to finish the round. 12th versus 13th in this game has got big stakes, more so for the loser than the winner. The loser of this game is probably going to be hard for them to make finals. It is at the Adelaide Oval. It is Adelaide taking on Brisbane. Brisbane, of course, we know last round. They had a lot of injuries from the Q Clash. 
Uh, it was a 34-point win. They did kick 10-19, but it was not the most in- well. It wasn't the most impressive performance. And considering they've lost a few players due to injury out of that game as well, would definitely be disappointing for them. Uh, and for the, for the Crows, it was a good a good showdown win the past couple of weeks. Uh, sorry, in last week, and they've gotten a few wins in the past couple of weeks against Carlton and North Melbourne as well. Uh, but they de- they desperately need the win here. I think they'll get it. I think they'll pick. I think they'll pick it up pretty comfortably by twenty six points. And you know, I don't think Brisbane are going to be able to uh, show too much fight in this game just because of those injuries. I do just think the Crows are a different challenge at the Adelaide Oval, so I think they're going to win that game by twenty six points, and that'll finish round number nine. So it does look to be a good round of footy. My tips are Melbourne, Geelong, Fremantle, Hawthorne, GWS, Gold Coast, the Western Bulldogs, Collingwood, and Adelaide. Here is a ladder after the round. I have Geelong going back up onto the top of the table. Uh, make sure to pause if you want to see the full ladder. And there we go. So that is the round preview. Round 9 does look to be a great round of footy. Feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you guys all so much for watching this. But, so feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you guys all so much for, thank you guys all so much for watching. Please do make sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you guys never another video on the channel. Thank you guys all so much for watching this. Bye everyone. Flame footy out.